So let's discuss the next kind of objects we are encountering. Principal bundles. And while vector bundles have been all about vector spaces, now principal bundles are going to be all about Lie groups. Let's start with the definition. Uh, let G be a Lie group. M a manifold. Then a manifold P over M is a principal G bundle. if, firstly, it has a right g-action, or it has a smooth, a smooth right g-action, p times g to p, and secondly, our map pi respects that smooth g-action, So for all P and P, for all G and G, we have pi of PG is equal to pi of P. And lastly, there is a cover UI and maps phi I such that phi I, uh, the phi I are smooth maps from pi inverse of ui to ui times g, such that firstly this diagram commutes, um, meaning that this is really just the coordinate in the base manifold, and such that phi i respects the g action. Uh, in other words, G acts freely on P, and the orbits are precisely the fibers of pi. And uh, this means that we are now dealing with a fiber bundle, where every fiber is, well, not a group, but sort of the group G that forgets about its neutral element, meaning that the fibers are principal G spaces. So, spaces on which G acts freely and transitively. And, I guess, the other part of the definition, that P and Q be principal G bundles, over M, a smooth map, phi from P to Q, a morphism of principal G bundles if two conditions are satisfied. Firstly, well, we have P, we have Q, and we have M. Then we have here the bundle projection maps, and here we have phi, if this diagram commutes. And secondly, if phi respects the G action. So if for every P and P and G and G we have phi of PG is equal to phi of P and then apply G. And again, 
principal GE bundles over M from a category. Um, but even more, I guess that's a lemma that phi be a morphism of principal G bundles. Then phi is an isomorphism. And I'm not going to prove that, but the reason for that is that we can look at phi on, on the fibers of the bundle, and on each fiber we are dealing with a morphism of principal homogeneous spaces, and all principal G spaces are isomorphic, just because if you sort of fix your map on one element, you have automatically fixed the map on every other element. Um, so, I guess, conclusion. PGM is a groupoid. Uh, note, however, that this absolutely doesn't mean that all principal G bundles are boring. No, it just means that there are nearly no morphisms in this category. And now for something a bit more constructive, um, which sort of parallels the statement for vector bundles. A principal G bundle uh, can be constructed from the following data. A cover UI and smooth maps. phi ij from ui intersected with uj to g. Subject again to the co-cycle condition we have encountered for vector bundles. So phi ii at every point is the neutral element of g. phi ij phi ji is the neutral element of g and phi ij phi jk and phi ki is the neutral element in G.